this is when I was unable to change my global 3D settings in my NVIDIA control panel. Um, now it works for me and I'll tell you how it worked for me. First I went to uninstall everything that I had in NVIDIA and I needed to reinstall everything. Now first off I didn't have any of this here, none of this. All I had was GeForce Experience um, because I did a system restore. But um, if you do have everything here, uninstall everything that you have in NVIDIA, including GeForce Experience. Restart your computer. I've already done everything. So uh, as you can see, it works now. Here, apply. And it's good. So once you have everything uninstalled, you reinstall. What you want to do is go to the NVIDIA website, look for your latest driver for whatever you have. I have a... Um, 10 series, 1080, search. I downloaded my latest one, and that's what I have here. I reinstalled that, and I'll show you what I did. Once you extract everything, I'm not going to do the whole reinstallation process, but I'll show you what to uncheck and what not to uninstall. So this pops up, whatever driver version you get, just wait for it. Now here, when this pops up, you don't want to install the GeForce driver yet. You can install it afterwards, after you install the driver first. So just click just the driver. I'm going to do custom. And then here... Once you uninstall everything, it should say new version, yeah, and then current version it should say none for everything here. I have everything installed already, but it should say none. You want everything checked except GeForce Experience, and then you want to click Perform Clean Installation. What this does is restores all your settings to default, and basically makes it seem like you installed install everything for the first time. And what it does, it's going to obviously send bring everything back to default but I mean that's okay because you couldn't change anything in the first place so you do that hit next install it I've already done it and then afterwards you restart and then you should be able to change all your settings again and then after that you can reinstall GeForce experience I already have it's right there and that's it should work for you guys.